Hey Design Files members, um, today I'm going to show you how to do a slightly more detailed knockout with a few extra colours. Um, I did a file called Camo Life uh, a week or two back and had a few people ask me how I'd managed to get that effect, so I'm going to show you today. Um, basically we start with our basics. Uh, Camo is the font Mom's typewriter. Life, as always, is impact font. Um, and then to do the Camo, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Google and have a little look for a camouflage stencil which will obviously give you lots of different options and um, the option I've picked is this one here uh, so what I'm going to do is just save that image and then I'm going to open studio again and drag and drop that image in just going to resize it a little bit So my life is 10.822, if I resize this to 11 wide, that should cover the whole of the life. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by tracing this. So select trace area, and then you've just got to obviously mess around with your filters just to find out at which point you get what you're after. So, have a little mess with my threshold, and that's perfect. I've just hit trace on that, and there we have a pretty nice trace of the camouflage. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that over to here, and I'm quite happy with the way that lines up. So, as usual, do this, and I am going to crop, which gives us this. Now, I'm not going to make any compound paths of that. I'm going to leave it all as its own individual pieces. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this piece here. I'm just going to uh, drag my camo back up here so I've got some colours to work with. And I'm going to start colouring in aspects of the camo. So I'll start with this one and then I'll do that one in the same green. What I've done there by the way just to get the colour is if you look in your fill colour window you have this little dropper here and if there's a colour somewhere else you want to match just click on that dropper, click on the colour you want to match and that's then your source colour. So as you can see I'm just quite randomly colouring in bits of this camo so this is going to take me a minute um, and obviously you can either choose to use the colours from the source file which is what I'm doing just because they're your regular camouflage colours and it's easy for me or you could do it in pink, blue and green if you want, it doesn't actually have to be in camouflage colours. Again I'm just picking a different colour now from the file and you'll see I'm just working my way around dropping it anywhere I feel like it really. Again, I'm not working on any particular pattern or order. I'm just making it as random as I can because it's camouflage and that's kind of how it is. Uh, pick another colour. Go for a darker one this time. And again, very, very random. So just trying to uh, get a, a decent coverage where there's not too much of one colour in one place. And then finally I'm going to use this, use this colour, the background, which is a sandy colour. I'll just colour in anything left that's black in that. Now if you will bear with me a second while I just finish this, because it is a little bit tricky and a little bit faffy, but you'll see where I'm going with it in just a minute. A few moments later. You can see after all that we are left with this. So we've got our four different colours all in our camo file. 
Now, if you want to cut this out of vinyl, you're going to be using obviously the four different colours of vinyl, which is going to be a bit of a pain if you've got to kind of go through and remove bit by bit and try and figure out what needs to do on what colour vinyl. So I'm going to show you a quick trick here. And the best thing you can do here is head down to this little button at the bottom here. Just click on that and it brings you up the options to select by colour. So if I click the top one, it highlights all the camo patches in that colour and then what I do is I simply hit object, make compound pass and there you have it. You now have all of that colour as one compound pass um, and again if I hit the next colour down it highlights all of those, I'm just going to again make compound pass, next colour down, make compound pass and finally the sandy colour, make compound pass. Now the major advantage of this is when you zoom out if you want to cut this into vinyl to get your four different colours of vinyl all you have to do is one, two, three and four and you can cut them all and it makes it a lot easier to lay not faffing around with the little pieces trying to figure out what goes where and when and the added bonus of it all is this is all one layer so you've not got to have thick layers of vinyl layered on top of each other to get that effect it is just one layer lots of different aspects all put next to each other with all your different colors of vinyl so hopefully that's helped a little bit i know it is quite a long and pain in the backside process of actually colouring the bits in but once you've got them coloured that's a really quick way to group everything together um, and what you can also do as well when you select by colour is when you select say I've just selected all the dark green if you're not happy with the colour that is you can go over here and change it to all the same colour again so you don't have to go once you've coloured them in the first time if you want to change that colour you don't have to go through individually colouring them all every single time you just simply click fill colour um, so yeah hopefully that's helped and I hope you enjoy making some more knockout files take care